Hey everyone, it's Veronica and there was a forum post in uh, the Using Slide Masters Challenge today in the eLearning Heroes uh, forum and this user, Mary, she would like to import quiz questions from an Excel file and but she wants them to come through as with the styles and the colors and the sizes that she wants to to for them to have. So I'm going to show you a few things, Mary, that you can do to make that happen. So what would happen um, is if you were to insert your question slides from your Excel sheet, so you would go here to import questions from file and I've got one there ready to go, so I'm going to import that. And there's my two questions that I have in the file, I'll import them and once those have come through, you can see that they look basically the default colors and sizes and fonts that uh, that were in my file because this is just a new file that I've opened up and it's all the default colors. So how can you get those? I'm going to delete them now. How can you get those to come through with a button color that you want and possibly a different font and things like that? So before you import any questions, just create one question, uh, just any random question, into your file, like I've created this one here. And the first thing you can do is you can go to your Slide Master view. So go to View and Slide Master. I have my, my quick access toolbar there, but if you don't have that, just View and Slide Master. And if you watched any of the videos from Matt before, you'll know a little bit about how to work with slide masters but if you scroll down you can see that this is a layout a question layout so let's say that you wanted to change the font of the question slides maybe not the rest of the course but just for the question slides you can do that just like you would any other text box so go up to your fonts and select a different one so let's pick a very different ones just so it's quite noticeable and maybe I'm going to change the font for my question options as well and I'm going to pick another crazy one okay maybe this one and I would like this to be a little bit bigger so I'm going to make them a little bit bigger and I'm going to make this one also a little bit bigger this is just so you can see what happens when you import your questions so and let's say that I want the questions to be the options to be over on this side or anything like that. You can just customize this however you like. In addition to that, you can also, um, if you wanted to, maybe you wanted to change the format, the background color, you want to use a picture, you want to use a color. So I'm just going to choose a color here. So that's going to be basically the format of my question slides when I do end up inserting them from anywhere, from a Excel spreadsheet or just making new questions. And I'm just going to close out of that. The other thing is uh, that Mary mentioned was the button color there. So you can see that this is just the default blue that you see so often. And here we go. I'm just going to, there we go. So I've just applied that layout that we created. And you can see that the fonts are changed to what I, what I changed them in the, in the master. And this, op these options have moved over to this side doesn't look great but it's just to show you how it works. So to change that color in the button I'm just going to bring over this article from the eLearning Heroes website and this article is about working with theme colors in Storyline 2 and we, if we scroll down a little bit it'll tell us right here it tells us what the different colors um, in the color theme do. So it tells us here that the accent one color is the default fill color for shapes, captions, check marks in checkbox styles and dots in radio button styles one and two. So I'm just going to get rid of that now and as you can see this color blue is indeed this accent one color. That's that's the wrong thing that I'm looking at there but uh, radio fill it's that accent one color that we are using and that's the one there we go so what you can do to change that you can actually do really you can do one of two things you can change the color in your color scheme so here I'm working with the default color scheme but let's say that I change this accent one to a purple so what's going to happen that button changed to purple and that's what I want it to be so if you change the 
color theme, the buttons will come through in that color. But the other thing that you can do here in the radio button design tabs, you can see that there are different types of buttons that you can use and the one that's there is just the default one but let's say that you wanted to choose you wanted a teeny weeny little button like that one so if you want all your questions to have that kind of button what you can do is change it right click there and say set as default radio button so in this file any future buttons that you insert so these here are not going to change right now but any future buttons that you insert are going to be like that so let's try inserting that file again from the Excel spreadsheet and see what happens there we go so there we go I've got my two questions and as you can see they are exactly the format that I just created using the slide master the slide master and changing the font and the background color and the position of the options and you can see that the buttons are purple and they're the teeny weeny little buttons that I set as default for this course so I hope that helps you Mary and if you have any other questions just pop them in the forum and either myself or anyone else will be happy to help thanks bye